Hey Zalivas, this is Super Summer Club Barbecue coming to you with Supercard Video number 32. This is just a very straightforward guide to the PCC Universe, the People's Champion event. And this is an event which at the moment is including Dean Ambrose and Randy Orton, but in the future will include lots of different varying superstars who are um, going to be fighting it out against each other and it looks like an event they'll be staying in supercard for quite some time now the simple point around the people's champion event if you don't know already <clears throat> is that you are designed to grind a lot to play a lot to get as many points as possible to finish in a certain ranking system now to start off with you can finish in the top five which used to be the only way of obtaining a special card in the game but now you hear the rules have changed you can now finish in the top 200 and achieve those same cards um, but with varying different levels of rewards you get on top of it now if you are aiming for anything up to the top 200 be prepared for a very hard slog even up to the ranks of 550 up to 1000 and up to 1750 where you can get the single cards you are going to be in it for a very very long and arduous battle so my advice is very simple be prepared but i am going to go for a couple of tips do's and don'ts and some ways to prepare for the people's champion event um so whatever you're looking for you can get the best possible result for you and your deck so you can improve your deck for king of the rings and road to glory events so let's start now So the first tip is actually going to be around credits. Now, if you are in the, on the basis of buying titles, then obviously that's your choice. If you wish to go for that, then you the best way to do that is to go to a couple of different websites. I don't have anything for the United States, but I've used a place for Xbox Live points beforehand, and you can use it for iTunes vouchers as well, which is a place called CD Keys. Um, I'll put the link in the description below hand if you want to go to there. If you live in the United Kingdom, they do sometimes sell dollar uh, cards as well. Otherwise, look at your different retailers and online for offers. They are certainly available. Um, so moving on to another point to prepare for, this is vital if you have a mobile device uh, or a, a tablet and you're not using a PC to play Supercard. Get a portable charger ready. They are absolutely, absolutely essential. They cannot be more essential. And by using a portable charger, you can keep doing things in your daily lives without having to worry about your phone running out of battery or you having to charge it and have to be near a main socket. If you charge up a good charger, you will probably have anything near to two battery lives on that. And when you sleep, you just recharge the charger again and go the next day. That could be the difference between you finishing the top 200 or finishing outside the top 200 which, as crazy as it sounds, it requires that kind of level of dedication. The next thing is be prepared for a very long grind. Get set up and drink lots. But here's a couple of don'ts. Let's try to stay away from things like artificial sweeteners. I know this sounds like I'm giving you a health prep, but trust me, you have no idea how much it affects you in the long run. If you um, play PCC, eating junk food and that kind of stuff you are going to burn out really really quickly you need to be um, drinking lots of water um, you need to be eating stuff that's natural um, you need to be eating stuff that's not processed because if you do you're giving yourself false energy that eventually is just going to end up making you perform worse and it's just a fact of life if you don't eat properly then you're not going to get the best kind of performance out of yourself in any certain subjects so my only advice is make sure that you do try to stay away and steer away from things like lots of sugar lots of artificial sweeteners and things like red bull um, energy drinks only use those when you really really need it don't just go pile on six or seven a cans of Red Bull in all one go because one of our guys in our stream, I think it was Lil G, did take one of these specific ones, a bit more powerful than Red Bull and standard um, energy drinks, um, did actually take one of those and actually fell asleep almost instantaneously after taking it because he was so tired. Don't fool yourself if you need to sleep, sleep. 
there are more important things than this game in your life. And we are almost an hour away from People's Champion, so I'm going to crack on. Um, that's the next thing. People's Champion the challenges are not life-changing or life-saving. If something else more important comes up, then try next time. Don't worry about pushing it too far. Things like fusions will always come in the end to help those who maybe haven't had the chance to grind as hard as his tips the rest to score higher. So if you do have the ability, the time, or the money to be able to score higher in people's champion events, then there's a couple of things you can use from me, uh, score uh, tips wise, to help you. The first things, uh, the first things first, to get the fastest possible grind, um, it's not using blue stacks. I can tell you that much. Use a phone or set up that's fastest for you. So avoid blue stacks or slow platforms. The best platforms I can advise you are anything past the iPhone. 5, so iPhone 5, 5 and above, an iPhone 6 Plus or a uh, Samsung Galaxy Edge, for example, would be the absolute 100% best thing you can use or the best possible fastest phone you can use. Um, Apple devices usually come up as top on that. My personal advice is to use an iPad. iPads are super fast and you've got less chance of making mistakes. However, if you are using a PC, then Bluestacks or Andy are also great ways of using it. Um, the next bit is to plan your days. Um, plan the points you're going to achieve. So if you are going for the top 200, whether that be 10,000, 15,000 or 20,000 points, whatever you're planning to do, break it down over the days and set yourself a goal each day. I, for example, in my last PCC, uh, which was for uh, John Cena, set a, a goal of 8,000 on the first day and then moved on to uh, my next goal, which was 3,000 on day two. I exceeded that. The next day I did 2,000, and the final day I did over 10, nearly nine to 10,000 points. So if you keep grinding uh, constantly, you're gonna burn yourselves out. Just get to your point that you know you can get to and then move on to the next day. Don't push yourself too hard. First of all, the, the, so the next thing is don't waste time combining or trading cards. This part is important because I'm going to show you one of the ways that I've learned how to get to things quicker. I keep minimal cards in my lineup and obviously I will start to keep things like Survivor and Legendary cards uh, close towards the end of this month for fusion reasons. But very simply, don't keep too many cards. If you can afford to, remove things like common, uncommon, super rares, rares, and ultra rares. If you're not running a fusion chamber, and yes, if you've got too many supports, get rid of them and they're WrestleMania cards. Seriously, you don't need them unless they're Blassies or WrestleMania cards. They're just taking up space that is going to stop you from getting to your goal. And um, don't bother combining cards. A lot of people decide that they want to combine cards together to give themselves bigger advantages. In, in People's Champion, that's a big no-no. Never, ever, ever, ever do that. The next thing is to set up support cards. Now, I know th this is a deck I'll be using for People's Champion event unless um, the uh, three-man band or five-man band, which has recently been nerfed or uh, stopped, has been fixed. Um, if that has been fixed, then um, for, for, for People's Champion, then I will be using uh, this deck here, which you can see. You want your superstars and your supports to complement each other. Now, I'm going to show you why this complements it, it, itself. The first of all, we've got Natalia, who is a WrestleMania Diva. The reason why she is good is because she's the only WrestleMania Diva that procs in toughness and speed. Um, I actually have a Bobby Heenan which gives it another 80 points in toughness and speed so if it's called upon and is a toughness and speed or a toughness battle then I do have a one a one up on any other divas plus at the moment it's my only, only Wrestlemania Pro Diva which kind of sucks moving on to the superstars the reason I use Seth Rollins is because he is effectively a Daniel Bryan killer Daniel Bryan as you can see later on down the line uh, Seth Rollins basically um, it can be used to, with a, either of the supports here, the only one he kind of falls down on is the charisma side of things, but he is the only current event pro that procs in speed. So I've used him as my first card. Triple H is there for tag purposes because he's the only left arrow that we have at the moment. And we also have Daniel Bryan. Now Daniel Bryan is useful because of his charisma because he's got the highest charisma in the game at the moment. 
um, but has also a proc in toughest and charisma that can sometimes be useful and is only just shy of Seth Rollins um, be using his uh, speed. The WrestleMania table is basically my gimme card that is just there in the event of a, a power and toughness or a power and speed or power and anything match coming up. That is the card I use just to give me the win. Usually it works. There are sometimes it doesn't. Um, especially if you're at a top level. And then we have Brock Lesnar, who gives the overall toughness um, addition, which, other than Daniel Bryan, no one else procs in and gives that additional ability boost. I set up, I've said about support cards, and that also is important, because the next thing is actually to pay attention to what the AI is doing. You can usually plan a win just purely by noting what support cards are being used during matches and what cards are being used. I'll give you an example. If someone has used their only left arrow and you are fighting a team of right arrows, you know if a tag comes up, you can pretty much tag anything and it will beat it as long as it is at the same level. Um, you can also use things like previous knowledge of the players if you are that in depth and you can make notes about people. Now that is going personally to some people that goes a little bit too far but I always have a notepad available to one side. So if I know certain players that I'm playing against don't have a WrestleMania Diva I will actually write down the detail, their details so I know exactly what I am going up against. It means that it takes less time for me to grind and it's good preparation. It's always been said that if you prepare, if you fail to prepare, then you prepare to fail. Or uh, prior preparation prevents piss poor performance. Two words you can use, if, two sentences you can use if you wish to. Um, the simple point is, is that by making notes of these things, you are going to be putting yourself in a better upper hand, potentially to get yourself um, that a card that you're after and not missing out, which I know some people who have, which is not nice at all. Um, just pay attention to what has, is going on in the game because it will do you massive justice when instead of throwing out a... Um, a Seth Rollins card, for example, you actually throw out a Daniel Bryan when it comes to charisma and you end up winning one game because you end up actually paying attention. The other thing to do, and this has helped a lot of people in the past, is actually to listen to YouTube videos or streams during long grinds. Uh, other things include what just keep yourself busy, but nothing that's going to distract you too much. Now, uh, things like WWE, sports, football, soccer, sorry for guys in the in America, um, uh, also always help pass the time. Also, as well as that, if you know people that you actually play Supercard with, or you know people you can play Supercard with, then always Skype call. That is a huge benefit and can sometimes be the difference between um, you staying on for a long period of time and grinding and you getting bored and just continuing because it is arduous. It does take time and it is going to really put your dedication to practice. A couple of individual YouTuber channels which would probably be a good idea to check out. They are great for when you're grinding, when you're playing very hard and you're consistently um, having to basically find ideas or reasons to play the game. Um, the first one is Bad Lad Dad. He is awesome and he's great to listen to. Um, he also has some great content and he's not too distracting. You can listen to him in the background and he can then give you um, a couple of hints and tips around your your potential grind, even if that's in Road to Glory. Another person to listen to and watch is Biggie Dude. He's someone you can just have on the background whilst you're playing and it's not, I can't say calm and relaxing because it might sound a bit homo but I, I can say to you that I've done it beforehand I've listened to his streams and his uh, his videos whilst playing and it does help with the grind um, Lil G as well Copter they both um, are more relaxing people to listen to and to watch if you're German and a lot, a lot of people German people actually watch my video then I can only recommend the, uh, watching or listening to uh, Mr. Uh, Angersucht and uh, Perkix. They are both um, good Twitchers, good YouTubers. They don't really pay people's champion much, but it's worth watching their videos if they have them available. They do seem like people who you can just watch and um, 
best take some notes that pointers on or just enjoy yourself the idea is you want to enjoy yourself when doing this as much as possible and not be distracted by it. Now, here's a couple of things not to do and this is very very important don't get others to grind for you because it is actually against the end user licensing agreement or the EULA in the game just don't do it don't trust anyone online, honestly, unless you are super, super, super friends with the person. I wouldn't suggest giving your account details to anyone, and I wouldn't even suggest that anyway. It's a stupid idea and would not be a good move for you. It will end up coming back to bite on the, bite on the backside, and you could lose months, if not nearly a year's worth of, um, of gameplay just purely because of one mistake, which is never, never, never good. Second thing is not to mess around. And I know that sounds a bit like, well, what does he mean not mess around? Don't mess around when you're playing PCC because every game counts. If you're playing a game, finish it. Don't just uh, sit around or walk off and do something else. Finish your game, turn off the app, come back on it later on. That extra five, six, even for example, for me last time, it's about 30 or 40 games. It's an extra three to 400 points that you could have got on your tally and could be a difference between you getting the card. I hope you've all found this as helpful as I intended it to be. Uh, I know that there's gonna be some guys up here in the, maybe the top end of the game who go, what the hell is he talking about? He's not talking about anything that's, that, that, that is relevant. You don't wanna do any of that. Every single person who plays is going to have different reasons or different abilities to be able to get to the grind they are. So the, the guys I'd suggest listening to, if you've got a chance to do it, um, the guys who have finished in the top five beforehand are always good guys. People like Turbo, Adnan, who is good. If you get a chance to speak to Jonathan, he's a perfect person to listen to because he has a very, 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 very busy lifestyle and he still manages to cram everything in. However, um, some of the bigger people you're probably going to have to go into the forums to check but I would suggest people like Figaro who's done top five many many times <clears throat> Ed who is one of the um, only people who have ever actually completed the whole thing free um, as in he's done it without any titles whatsoever um, he's paid from the start to the end no titles and managed to actually get a, a, I think three or three people's champion cards in a row so he's done uh, very very well in that regard um, all I'd say is give um, yourself as much time as possible for the event if you cannot put in the grind don't go for the top rewards go for the lower rewards you just will end up disappointing yourself if you do and if you start to fall away just don't give up that is the most important thing I can suggest because in the first people's champion event for this tier I was in a position where I fell underneath the top 200 and actually went outside the top 250. But on the last day, I pushed myself a little bit further, gave myself the extra time to be able to get up to the top, and it ended up working. So good luck in your grind. I hope this has been useful. This has been Super Summer on BBQ, and you know it's coming. Zoleave.